Peace out, Jen. Should we begin the recordings? You see recording has started. Wow, well, recording started. Backup is rolling. Sergeant Polite, can we begin with your opening statement? Thank you. Good morning and welcome to the remote hearing on land use votes. Will council members and staff please turn on their video at this time? Thank you. To minimize disruption, please place all cell phones electronic to vibrate. You may send your testimony to land use testimony at council.nyc.gov. Once again, that's land use testimony at council.nyc.gov. Chair, we are ready to begin. All right, thank you, Sergeant of Arms. Good morning, I am Council Member Rafael Salamanca. I'm the chair of the committee on land use. I'm joined remotely today by council members. Uh, we are joined by council members Gredenchik, Adams, Ayala, Barron, Borelli, uh, Brooke Powers, Deutsch, Diaz Senior, Council Member Feliz, Gibson, Ku, Reynoso, Chair Riley, Rivera, and Traeger. Today we will vote on applications referred out from both of our subcommittees. But before we begin, I would like to recognize the committee council to review the remote meeting procedures. Thank you, Chair Salamanca. I am Julie Lubin, counsel to this committee. Council members who would like to ask questions or make remarks should use the Zoom raise hand function. The raise hand button should appear at the bottom of the participant panel. I will announce member, council members who have questions or remarks in the order that they raise their hands. Chair Salamanca will then recognize members to speak. We ask that you please be patient if any technical difficulties arise today. Chair Salamanca will now continue with today's agenda items. Thank you, uh, thank you, council. From our zoning subcommittees, we will vote to approve LU 764, the 135th-137 Bedford Avenue rezoning proposal relating to property in council member Levin's district in Brooklyn. The proposal seeks a zoning map amendment to establish a C1-4 overlay district in, existing nine, um, in, in, in an existing R6A and R6B districts on the east side of Bedford Avenue between 9th, um, North 9th and North 10th streets. The proposed rezoning would mirror an existing commercial overlay district across the street and facilitate a new mixed use development with ground floor commercial use and residential units on the upper floors. We will also vote to approve three separate but related proposals by the Department of City Planning under the Resilient Neighborhoods Initiative. These proposals are all intended to facilitate resilient development in areas vulnerable to flooding. We will vote to approve LU 766 and 767, the Gernison Beach Resilient Neighborhood proposal related to property in Council Member Mizell's district in Brooklyn. The proposal seeks a zoning map amendment to change existing R4, C3, and C2-2 districts to R4-1, C3A, and C2-3 districts and a related zoning text amendment to establish a new special coastal risk district. Risk district. We will vote to approve LU 768, the Sheepshead Bay Resilient Neighborhood proposal related to property in Council Member Deutsch District in Brooklyn. The proposal seeks a zoning text amendment to align existing relations of the special Sheepheads Bay District with flood resilient buildings and design standards. We will vote to approve LU 769, the Old Howard Beach Resilient Neighborhood proposal related to property in Council Member Ulrich District in Queens. The proposal seeks a zoning map amendment to replace existing R3-1 and R3-2 districts with an R3X and an R and an R3-1 district to more closely match the existing built context. And we will vote to approve the modifications LU 765, the Department of City Planning Zoning for Coastal Flood Resilient Proposal. This is a citywide zoning text amendment to update temporary provisions adopted in an emergency basis after, San, after Hurricane Sandy and is intended to facilitate flood resilient design measures to provide better protection from flood risk in vulnerable areas, support public access to waterfront sites through resilient open space design and help New Yorkers recover quickly from other future disasters. Our modifications will include clarifications and applicable of the proposed flood plan regulations and clarifications of certain bulk regulations. These clarifications will address floor area rules and permit obstruction rules for new accessory mechanical equipment. From my landmark subcommittee, we will vote to approve LU 752, the 69 Adams Street project. This is an application submitted by the Department of Citywide Administrative Services pursuant to a section 197C of the New York City Charter. 
for the disposition of city-owned property located at the west side of Pearl Street between York and Front Street at Block 52, La 15, and 17 in the Dumbo neighborhood of Brooklyn, represented by Council Member Levin. Levin. This action will facilitate the transfers of 90, 98,446 square feet of commercial development rights, also known as the air rights, to an adjacent property, a privately owned site, so as to include commercial office space in a 25-story mixed-use building. We will also vote to approve LU-757, the new Penn Development 1. This application was submitted by the Department of Housing, Preservation, and Development pursuant to Article 16 of the General Municipal Law and Char Charter Section 197C for the designation of an urban development action area, approval of an urban development action area project, and a disposition of city-owned property. The property is located at 306 Pennsylvania Avenue, 392 and 426 Wyona Street, and 467 Vermont Street in the East New York neighborhood of Brooklyn. These approvals will, will facilitate the development of a, of a three new building with 46 affordable rental units, eight of which will be affordable independent residents for seniors. We will also vote to approve LU-758, the new Penn Development 2 UDAP. This application was submitted by HPD pursuant to Article 16 of the General Municipal Law for approval of an urban development action project and a waiver of the area designation requirements, as well as a waiver of Section 197C and 197D of the New York City Charter. The property is located at 791 Saratoga Avenue, 792 Rockaway Avenue, 429 Newport Street, 303 Hinsdale Street, 461 New Jersey Avenue, 432 Iona Street, and 510 Vermont Street, also in East New York neighborhoods in Brooklyn. This application will facilitate the construction of seven buildings containing approximately 25 rental dwelling units plus one unit for a superintendent. Both new Penn projects are located in Council Members uh, Barron's district. Members of the committee and members representing affected districts who have questions or remarks about today's items should use the raise hand button now. Council, will you announce the members in order that their hands were raised? Yes, um, I don't see any hands raised, Chair Solomon. Oh, Council Member Barron. Uh, Council Member Barron, you have the floor. You're muted, Council Member. Thank you very much to the chair and to the uh, chairs of the subcommittees. I just briefly want to call attention to the new Penn project, which is in my district. It is bringing housing that is affordable to the people who presently live there so as to combat any attempts at gentrification or displacement of the people who live there. They are designed uh, to be able to, uh, at, I think it's 60% of the AMI is 80% of the project. They also have 10% for homeless and there are heirs apartments for seniors in the development. Uh, it's going to be contextually consistent with the facade that exists in our community, which is brick for the most part. And I just wanna encourage all of my colleagues to vote for the new Penn Project. Thank you very much. Thank you, Councilmember Barron. Uh, Council, is there anyone else with their hands up? No, no one else has their hand raised. All right, well, seeing none, I will now call for a vote in accordance with the recommendations of the subcommittees and the local members to approve LUs 752, 757, 758, 764, 766, 767, 768, and 769, and to approve the modifications as I've described, LUs uh, 765. Will the clerk please call the roll? Good morning, Matthew DiStefano, committee clerk. Roll call the vote, committee on land use. Chair Salamanca. I on all. Gibson. Good morning, aye on all. Baron. I vote aye on all with the exception of 752 on which I'm voting no, thank you. Deutsch. Aye on all. <clears throat> Ku. Aye. Miller. Councilmember Miller. Okay, I'll go back. Reynoso. I vote, I vote, I don't know. Traeger. Aye. Grodenschik. Aye. 
Adams. I vote aye on all. Ayala. Council member Ayala. All right, we'll come back. Ruben Diaz, senior. Si en todo. Moya. I vote aye on all. Rivera. I vote aye. Riley. I vote aye on all. Brooks Powers. Hi, did you call me? Yes. Sorry about that. Oh, I, 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 Council Member Ayala, go ahead. I'm sorry. I vote aye. Sorry about that. Okay. Council Member Brooks Powers. I vote aye on all. Feliz. Council Member Feliz. All right, we'll come back. Borelli. I vote aye. Council Member Miller. I vote aye. Council Member Feliz. This is a new one. Okay. He was he was on. I don't see him on anymore. Okay, I'm I'm going to call the vote for now. Uh, land use applications have been approved. Seventeen in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, with the exception of LU seven fifty two, which was approved. Sixteen in the affirmative, one negative, and no abstentions. All right. I would like to thank. Uh, the members of the public and my colleagues, council and you staff who are attending today's hearing. We're gonna leave the roll open for five minutes uh, to get the council members that were not here an opportunity to vote. Thank you all. Hey, Council Member Feliz, are you there? Uh, yes, having some Wi-Fi issues. Uh, can I, everybody hear me? Well, yes. There's a continuation of roll call vote, Committee on Land Use. Oh, yes, I vote uh, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, the vote now stands at 18 for approval. Uh, zero in the negative, no abstentions, with the exception of LU 752. 17 in the affirmative, one negative. No abstentions. All right. Well, I would like to thank uh, members of the public, council, and land use staff for attending today's hearing. This meeting is here.